Hey, what's up YouTube? Jason from Guinea's Balls, how you doing? Um, just a quick update on um, the first clutch that was uh, 57 days ago today. So it is due today. So we are going to be cutting that one. And that is obviously, um, if you've watched a few other videos at the moment, it's a bit of a controversial matter. Um, so I am going to cut my eggs give me a bad name all you like um, it's just the way I do things the way I like to do things the way I've been taught to do things um, and that's the way it's gonna be um, so for a little bit of fun a little bit of controversy what we'll do we'll probably get hated for this but I'm gonna quickly uh, show you the tools I'm gonna use um, to cut these sometimes people use big scissors sometimes people use small scissors I'm gonna use medium scissors that's not going to make any difference to you guys but that's what I'm going to use um, so what we'll do is we'll have a quick look this is what we're going to use this is the first one this is a nice small pair of scissors um, never used a knife before but um, no I'm only joking guys that's not what we're going to use um, so what we're going to use um, is just my nice small pair of scissors um, as I say it is a controversial um, situation to be in at the moment but whether you cut eggs or don't cut eggs for whatever your reasons are you do it your way they're your eggs you do what you like um, it doesn't really matter um, I personally believe that it helps the the actual animal itself you can check on the animal you can check on the umbilicus you can check all manner of things and we're only talking 55 to 60 days anywhere in between there is it's safe it's safe to do so so you do what you like they're your eggs so um, we'll get straight on to it and we'll, we'll have a go um, hopefully you enjoy what we're going to have <clears throat> um, the pairing was a cinnamon leopard female and she was bred to a phantom yellow belly black pastel so um, I'm hoping for um, eight balls um, hopefully we might be able to see um, if there's any any other genes in an eight ball we're not even guaranteed to get an eight ball but what I've worked out uh, it's a one in four chance of a combination with all the other genes in it of actually getting an eight ball so um, hopefully we'll get that um, if I get an eight ball yellow belly I, I think you can see the difference in them um, there's a lot more white up the sides um, but other than that I'm not really too sure what we're going to have so what we're going to do is we'll cut away, we'll have a quick look and then we'll do an update video in a few days once they've all come out to see what we've got um, and hopefully if you guys have any opinions on what I have got and what I haven't got please do uh, feel free to have a, have a, just ask me, tell me what you think it is if I'm wrong I'm wrong, we're all wrong sometimes so just uh, give me a shout so I'll be with you in right, a second. Okay then, so we're going to get into the first egg cutting of the season 2020 have a pan tilt on there. I've got a new camera camera lady today. Say hello Charmaine. Hello. <laughs> so as I said guys what we've got here is a cinnamon leopard female um, to a phantom pastel, not the phantom pastel, what a mistake this out. It's a phantom back pastel yellow belly. So a combination of them, um, anything eight ball would be lovely. Um, I don't know if you can see this one. This one's actually got a window um, and there is a snake inside and you can see it there can you see that Char? yeah yeah this one looks well you can't tell what it is but it could be anything from almost where it looks normal to me black pastel maybe right so the controversial bit everyone loves a pair of scissors no <coughs> right okay so We'll get into this. What have we got? Get your hand out of the way. I will when I cut it. And so, so far, this looks like a very nice looking snake. And there, that does look nice actually. Can you see that, Sean? Yeah. Um, I have no idea what that might be. But there's one little baby doing as it should looks lovely I'm not even going to hazard a guess <clears throat> alright let's go for the second one make a little 
little snip on this one. If I come this way, Cheryl, can you see better? Mm -hmm. Yeah. A little snip to release some of the pressure. And there we have. Very interesting looking, quite bright. Maybe a phantom yellow belly, possibly. We'll see when it comes out of the egg. Can you see that all right, Joe? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Make sure she's he or she's okay. Yeah, lovely. Let's snip that off. Okay. So pop that one back. Oh, do we? Number three, guys, only a five egg clutch. Lots of air in this one, lots of goo. So we'll make a little snip. Let's just release that out a bit. And we're going for the dark stuff today. Now that looks absolutely stunning. Um, mm. Look at the white up the sides there of this one. Mm. Does that not look lovely? Looks really interesting. Let's see if we hold that up a bit so you can see what we're looking at. Can you see that in there? Yeah. As I say, I'm not even going to hazard a guess at the moment. That looks very nice. Possibly a, a leopard cinnamon, the same as mum. We'll soon see. There we go, number three. Come on, you eight balls. That's what we want. We want an eight ball. <sighs> okay, number four. We're not getting lucky at the moment. What have we got here? I have no idea. But there you can see, another one. A combination of whatever it may be. Ooh. Yeah. So we said a one in four chance of a combination eight ball. So hopefully this egg might be it. You'll be dreaming. I will be dreaming, yeah. So we clean up, get rid of that. Just got another bit of towel. Okay, right. The last one, guys. <clears throat> Let's hope. Fingers crossed, then, if I'm going to get it. There it is. And it's not. <laughs> and there we go, guys. Um, that's, uh, I would say, that's definitely got a leopard in it. Um, judging by the patterning on that so I'm fine with that very nice looking little snake oh there we go little nose moving about there I would say that definitely got leopard in it judging by the coloration of that snake Let me get that on there mm -hmm. nicely yeah there we go so no eight balls this time but as always 2021 because we haven't got one now have we so um this year no eight balls but it doesn't matter they're all healthy by the looks of it so uh a couple of days i'll give you an update there we go get the goo in there Maybe. so i think what we have i don't really know i don't even want to hazard a guess to be fair that one's really interesting. I reckon that's probably a cinnamon. That one. I really think this one's a leopard cinnamon at the moment. Just because of that high white side. Lovely looking snake. We'll see what happens when it comes out. Just give me hands a clean up. So, might get some haters for showing the old snippy snips, but that's the way I do things, guys. So, um, you do things how you like. Um, I was going to use that. <laughs> I, would have, I really would have got some stick for that um, but we'll stick to the scissors they work well for me and as I say they're only for um, 
checking the snakes are okay um, I'm happy with that it's the way I do things you can do things how you like whether you like it or not it's down to you so for now guys like share subscribe take care and I'll see you in the next one <laughs>